Hey everybody, thank you again so much for tuning in. You've been hearing about that cooling market. And so of course, we're gonna go in today exactly how cool it has gotten here in the Portland metro area. This is filmed right now at the end of August. So let's stay tuned and we will go over exactly what our market is trending like right now. All right, everybody, thank you again so much for tuning in. I'm Lucas Holt, your local realtor for Southwest Washington, as well as the greater Portland area. And again, with me, we got Addy Net back, back at it again. again. Addy had to take a little hiatus on us for a little bit there, but we got him back now. Yeah, he house is, arrest. Oh, right, house <laughs> arrest, couldn't let him out. So he is our team lender for us. He gets you the money. Yeah, well versed in the the lending aspect of things, specifically for relocating clients, which I've enjoyed. We've had a lot of great calls lately, you and I, with people reaching out, planning to relocate here to the Pacific Northwest, and we absolutely love it, right, exactly, Lucas? Exactly, exactly. So if this is your first time to the channel, please do me a favor, hit that like, hit subscribe, and hit that little bell button to be notified every time we put out a new video twice le weekly for us. And again, you see that name, you see that number, you see that email, call us text us reach out to us any way you prefer anytime 24 7 like Addy was saying we do help people just like you every single day relocate and move in this greater portland area Let's we have, have people combo. reaching out to us all the time we do not care if you're you know two years out from moving or two days from moving we help clients from all ends of that process so again today what we're going to do is we're going to go over exactly what the market is like right now market in update. the greater portland area and it's no lie i mean i mean no no uh, uh a secret over here it is a lot different than what it was a year or two ago right now it has cooled off quite a bit but with that being said is it a dead market no way is it a dead market so you were saying yeah it, it, it's cooled down um mm -hmm. now i always like to put a little bit of context to that exactly not every region in america has the same environment or real estate affordability yep. costs uh, closing times, all those things. Just for example, I think like the average purchase price nationally is about 420, yep. which it's really challenging to even get a three bedroom, two bath in our market at 420. So a lot of it's perspective, but here, yes, I think it's become a healthier market. So if you're an individual who didn't like the circus of 2020, 2021, where things were moving super quick seven mm -hmm. offers first day on market things didn't even roll to the weekends things were way over asking because there's a lot of clients we've worked with that just didn't want to deal with that they're like yeah. i'll take the sideline lucas and addy i'll wait it out that's not my that's not my preferred play out of the book right yep now you actually can go see homes and think about it and that's exactly Make a good decision. That's exactly it. And so what we're seeing right now within our area is it's very segmented based on, you know, how hot the area is. So there are some areas like Aloha, like Gresham, for example, that we are seeing houses sit for much longer than what they were a few years, like a year or two ago. And with that being said, though, it's not like those houses are sitting still multiple, multiple months. We're seeing them sit now for about, you know, two three four weeks which right. in my real estate opinion my professional opinion is a much more healthy market rather than it just being on the market thursday and being taken off the market on monday it's giving our buyers a lot more time to process all the information that's actually coming to them mm -hmm. so with that being said though we do still have pockets within this greater portland area that is still 
absolute gangbusters just going absolutely crazy still um not seeing like the 10 to 14 15 offers like what we did see at the height of the pandemic but we are still seeing two three offers on a weekend on a lot of homes in those key areas now in the greater portland area school zones are such just a driver of the greatest areas around so those areas you're going to be looking at you know you're like oswego beaverton mm -hmm. west lynn Tiger, Tualatin, that area on the west side has really still been very churning really quickly, still looking at homes that are taking maybe a week, probably even a little bit less to leave the market. So if you're looking at one of those top notch sub areas within Portland, mm -hmm. it's still going to be very quick moving for us. Now, if you're willing to sacrifice a little bit more on your location, that's where we've seen the bigger drop off in the market seeing stuff sitting for three to four weeks for us mm -hmm. and, and that's really where you know we're able now to go find deals as well so Addie and I have actually been working with one client right now where we we're fortunate enough to get in a 25k under list mm -hmm. price one year ago putting something in under list price was un. Yeah, of. you get people saying, don't even waste your time. Exactly. But I love that you reiterated the school things because dealing with relocation and people that are planning to move here from out of state, <laughs> that's really our opener where it's like, hey, this market's heavily driven by school districts. The better the school district, the more demand, the more desirability. So even though you might be hearing from, you know, friends and family, oh, market's cooled on cooled off this is a great time to go by if you absolutely need to be in the first or second or third best school district in our area there's high demand there and you're not mm -hmm. going to feel the cool down so we try to really over explain that because the last thing we like to do is sound like we're salesy like oh yeah we're gonna have no problem we have yeah. to manage the expectations like if you've got a super long list of non-negotiables, school, squares, footage, backyard sign, mm -hmm. has to be on a slope, the wind direction, this, the sun needs to beam on the kitchen at this time of hour. Like these are legitimate things people talk to us about, which um, is fine. I don't know about wind direction, but. <laughs> <laughs> that might've been an exaggeration. Right. But the, the more boxes you have to check to make it worth it to you, the harder. Mm -hmm. And those school districts, once again, top notch. But you look at inner city, which is where we found the most amount of success getting mm -hmm. homes in contract under list price. Yep. Your inner city stuff like Southeast, Northeast, North Portland, all those Portlandia bungalows, mm -hmm. like they aren't going for what they are going, were going for last summer. Specifically too, if you can be flexible, like the two one bungalow, which was super popular. Yep. Like that's your like, oh, I just want to ride a bike to things and, live really small which is great right those are listing in the north portland area last summer at 499 and going well into the 550 range yep. depending on how fancy the plants were inside exactly. like way over now you see the 499 on a 2 1 reduce 475 450 mm -hmm. and come back to a reasonable per square footage cost at 425. yeah so you got to like understand what you're looking for and then know the client or the environment within your parameters exactly and let's take an example of an actual client that we had that was in north portland mm -hmm. just off of alberta for us um so we were actually able to get them into their home for slightly under list cost for us and the reason why i bring that one up is we also have another client that was just a few streets down from them a very comparable house for us that they ended up paying in cash for that home a mm -hmm. hundred grand over list price just about four or five months before the clients yeah. that bought under list price for oh, us. almost identical homes. exactly so mm -hmm. with that being said this is the time right now where if you are looking for some deals chances are we can probably get you some deals in certain areas for you that's why it's important for you to link up with a, a local professional like myself and addy who can actually help you find those areas and find those pockets that you might be able to find those deals in with that being said it's not going to be a super huge buyer's market right now in the fact that you'll be getting you know 50 60 70 grand off a of list price 
that just won't happen right now. Mm -hmm. But saying that, hey, you might find a house that has zero offers on it for the past couple of weeks and get that five to 10 grand below list cost, mm -hmm. that's very attainable right now. Mm -hmm. So let's go on further now. Let's talk a little bit of numbers for us and let's talk about inventory. And mm -hmm. the reason I want to bring up inventory is because inventory is such a driver of what we're seeing when we're talking about actually making an offer mm -hmm. and what we have to do with your offer. So right now we have an inventory level of 2.1. So what does that mean? That means that if no other house was listed in this greater Portland area for another two months, we would still have inventory to sell. So once we hit that 2.1 month mark, that's when we would run out of any homes to sell within this area. That is up drastically compared to the last couple of years. More we than did, double, right? Oh yeah, we did not see inventory over one. I believe it was since the beginning of the pandemic right, for yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. So seeing our level at that 2.1 now, again, is helping us out as buyers agents having so much more to actually be able to take you clients to and giving you more of a pick of the litter out there. And that also tells us that, hey, there's not as many buyers out there. And so you're not going to be competing against as many people when you do go put that offer in. So again, instead of offering in those top neighborhoods where you you used to see 10 to 15 offers, we might be going against two to three now, which mm -hmm. makes it much more obtainable for everybody coming to the table here. Again, that's why you should choose an individual like ourselves that will have those conversations with the listing agent and get you those numbers that we pretty much know no, we'll get you the home. Well, in in my theory and opinion, one of the the reasonings for that higher inventory levels is now with interest rates rising, the home owner or buyers their approval amount or their budget they can qualify for reduces. Exactly. So when interest rates were at historical lows and their buying powers were twice as high, guess what they didn't have to do to go buy a second home? Mm -hmm. They didn't have to sell. Mhm. Mm because they could afford from a qualification standpoint, both mortgages. Yep. So now this is a lot of the new conversations. We're going back to 2018 where it was like, hey, can I offer non-contingent? Meaning do I have to sell to buy? Yep. And we roll through a very strategic plan with many different options that are tailored going back to what area do you wanna be in? Yep. How much equity do you have in your home? Maybe you wanna hang on to that and turn it into a rental because you refied it into an amazing interest rate a year and a half ago and you could actually cash flow on it and make some passive income which could help open up a budget for another nicer home exactly. who knows so these are all the things lucas and i chat through and he, you know he dives into more of the real estate stuff and then in live action via zoom we're pulling up numbers and working spreadsheets it's a powerful 30 to 60 exactly. minutes so the last thing that I want to touch on now, and again, these are numbers based from August for us, August 2022. Uh, so very real time numbers for real you. Time. We need to go over those sales costs for you as well. So the sales costs that I'm seeing right now on the Oregon side, average home being sold is around 569 for us. Sales numbers on the Washington side now, keeping with the trend where Washington is a little bit less expensive than the Oregon side, you're looking at about 548 for your average home over there. So that takes into the entirety of this area for you. That's including some of your less desirable areas. So if you're looking right. at your like Beaverton, Tillsboro, it's going to be a little bit more inflated than what that five uh, that five sixty nine cost is for you. And obviously, if you're looking at like your Camas, your Ridgefield over on Washington side, it's going to be more inflated than that five fifty ish area. So with that being said, it's trending still, staying pretty constant of a sales price from what we saw coming out of the pandemic here. So the reason I bring that up is that we're not seeing a decrease in home value whatsoever. We don't foresee there being a decrease in home value. This is a very steady market and I can I, I foresee the average sales price pretty much staying pretty even from where it's at right now. Yeah, we're in a great spot. If you're looking to relocate to the West Coast, like we, it's just 
way more stable mm -hmm. than our competing major cities, which would be San Francisco, Seattle, Southern California. Yep. Though those price points are much higher, you're going to see a lot more volatility in their values in yep. the coming years. So if that's something of your concern, this is a great market, Vancouver and Portland to be in and park and feel safe mm -hmm. and feel stable. Um, yeah. And I'd say lastly, you have to reach out to us because we love getting to know you as a person and then giving you kind of your own market date update based mm -hmm. on your area, which is all what you're trying to find out, right? Exactly. Because it's a different strategy and it's a different average price point. Mm -hmm. um, if you're comparing Camas to downtown Vancouver, to Beaverton, to Aloha, yep. there's so many different factors. So that's where we spend a majority of the first you know, what would you say? 10 to 15 the first minutes 10 to 15 minutes is really diving in, you know, where yeah. are you looking at what fits in with your personality and yeah. your goals of the home itself? So yeah, again, each individual area, Aloha is going to be so much different than Beaverton or Hillsboro, which sandwich Aloha. Right, right. And downtown Portland's going to be super different from even Knob Hill, which is actually a subsidiary of right. downtown itself. So again, reach out to us anytime, 24 seven, give me a call, give me a text, give me an email so that we can dive into your specific situation and talk about the exact areas that you're actually considering of moving to. And again, if you haven't done so yet, hit that like button hit subscribe and hit that little bell button to help that algorithm help me find more people just like you that are looking at content all about the greater portland area and again thank you all and have a great day